Hi, Susie. Yes, that suspect, Arturo Sejas, was granted bail in court here today and is expected to be arraigned on August 3rd. In the meantime, a family whose life has been completely undone by the explosion tells us their heartbreaking story. But what is going to happen with us? What is the next step? We don't have a secure roof. We don't, we lose the job the way we make our living. Jose Becerra and his family are speaking to media for the first time since a truckload of illegal fireworks blew up on their street a week ago. <laughs> leaving the family of 10 with several injuries and nowhere to go. I don't hear very well. I don't see very well. And my head hurts. A glass going inside here and another in the back of my head. The family is living in these motel rooms after a homeless services organization stepped in to help. Becerra says he and his brother, who are both self-employed, also lost their livelihoods when their vehicles were destroyed in the explosion. His elderly aunt suffered a broken nose. Another is still emotionally shaken. Michael Alder is the family's attorney. He was contacted by Becerra's oldest daughter, who rushed from Northern California to help. First of all, they don't have a place to live and they don't have any transportation. So to remedy that immediately and then start the claims process. And we're reaching out right now to the city officials. But Sarah's daughter says she's overwhelmed. I have a few hundred dollars in my bank account, a credit card and 10 people to house and no resources, no guidance. She tells us after the explosion, the family was offered these cots in a gym by the Red Cross, but she knew with all that they were dealing with medically, they would be miserable, so she looked for help and got them into a motel. It's not just that the house is gone, it's that our entire life has been obliterated. The explosion was one traumatic event, and everything that has come after, it has been another. The family's attorney tells us he will be filing a claim against LAPD and the city to hold those who are responsible accountable and to compensate the victims of the explosion. We did reach out to LAPD for comment, but as of airtime, we haven't heard back. Live in downtown LA, Hermel Aragawi, KCAL 9 News. Well, an LAPD officer accused.